Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our quick start videos. Today we'll be going over the configuration of the FastAttach software. So let's get started. We will start off by launching your FastAttach software from the desktop and logging in. Once logged in, you'll be presented with the FastAttach main screen. And starting with the upper left, we'll have a Help and Manage tab. Under the Help tab, we'll have a link to our frequently asked questions, an opportunity to chat with one of our support representatives using Fast Chat, and also our remote assistance using Fast Assist. Under the Manage tab, you have an opportunity of updating your office contact information and or billing contact information. Once the adjustments are made, just make sure you hit the update button to save your changes. And lastly, under that same manage tab, we'll have a configuration setting. This is for your IT personnel if they wanted to look up the directories that FastAttach is saved in. Next, we'll have a series of action buttons here at the top of the FastAttach main screen along with our layout options available to you as well. Starting with the quick group option, this will allow you to group your submissions down below by either status, location, or even payer. And if I click on the status option, you can see down below to where all of my submissions have been grouped together. Also, at any point in time, you can clear the grouping by clicking on the Clear Grouping button. You can also adjust the layout that you see on the FastAttach main screen by selecting any of the column headers to present the data in an ascending or descending order. Each header will also have a filtering option to where you can filter out specific data. Please keep in mind that you can move around any of these column headers by clicking on one and dragging them to the left or the right in any order that you choose. Once you have the desired layout, make sure you hit the Save Layout button to save your changes. At any point in time, you can hit the Reset Layout button and that will bring you back to the default settings. Lastly, you'll be given the opportunity of exporting the information that's on your FastAttach main screen. Click the Export button, and you'll see your data populated on your screen, and you can save the changes if needed. Now, let's look into our payer information by clicking on the payer information button at the top of the screen. you will see a list of insurance companies that are currently accepting electronic attachments. If you would like to truncate this list, you can use the checkboxes on the left-hand side to set your payer favorites. To help navigate this list easier, there's also a search tab at the top of the screen to where you can search for a specific insurance company. Today I'm going to search for NEA Test Payer. Once I've found my selection, I can clear the search criteria. Click the Save button in the upper left hand corner to save your changes to the system and you'll be presented with a message that your favorites have been updated. Lastly, we have a Print Payer List button. This will give you an opportunity of printing all of the insurance companies on our list, but keep in mind that we do update this list quite often. So you want to navigate back to this screen to see if there's any updates available for you. Now let's hit the back button to get back to the FastAttach main screen. We will now need to configure the doctors in our office by clicking on the provider information button. Before we can create an attachment, we must have the associated doctor entered into the system. You can start off by selecting the New button in the upper left-hand corner, which will give you an opportunity of entering in the doctor's first name, last name, doctor's tax ID, 
license number, and MPI. Now keep in mind, this information should mimic the same information that's submitted on your claim form. Lastly, we'll enter in the doctor's specialty and click the Save button at the top of the screen. You will now see your doctor in the current provider's listing, and you'll have the opportunity of editing this information if ever needed, and you can also delete this information if your demographic changes within your facility. Let's hit the back button to get back to the FastAttach main screen. The configuration of the FastAttach software is now complete. If you need further assistance, please give us a call at our 1-800 number or chat with us on our website. Thank you for joining us today and happy sending.